how many stands? The Israelites were as destined for death as the Egyptians. The Israelites were as destined to die that night as the Egyptians were. The death angel was coming through and going to be killing systematically from household to household. And the Israelites were not exempt automatically. You know, a lot of times, it seems to me that sometimes we get a little too comfortable. I go to church. I'm a Christian. I mean, whatever label you want to put on, whatever denominational label you want to put on yourself, whatever, whatever group label, whatever church label you want to put on yourself, I'm a this, so I'm in okay with God. I'm good to go with God. I'm a part of the men's ministry. I'm active in the men's ministry, so, man, I got it with God. Me and God are tight. It's not simply that easy, my friends. Your affiliation with a group means absolutely nothing. The death angel is coming. But there is a plan. Go, pick out a lamb or a young goat for each of your families. They go and they find this baby lamb, this baby goat. They take it, they slaughter it, they take the blood and they put it on the doorposts. And this sets the precedent for every Passover that happens from then on. This is the yearly celebration. They take that lamb and they cover the blood. Why did they take that? It was a symbol of ownership. This house now belongs to the Passover lamb. This house is now covered by the blood of the Passover lamb. The people here believe they believe in God who says, I will destroy. There will be judgment. Then he says, verse 22, brush the hits across the top and sides of the door from your houses, and no one may go out through the door until morning. Don't go out. You're inside. Inside the house. This is a call to complete and total obedience. They had, a, they had a, the, the core question at this point comes to them. Who is going to be right? Who is going to be the one that has the right to say what is true and what is not? Right now, they come up with a choice that says, is God lying or is God true? Do we say it or do we not? You see, we take it in our mind this attitude sometimes of, uh, you see it in, around, perhaps in your friends, perhaps in people you know. Well, you know, this thing's no big deal. This part is okay. This part is okay. I'm with God. He'll understand. He is calling for a complete and utter obedience. This question that says, is God for real? It's the question that's been coming to Pharaoh for ten times. Is God for real? Is God truthful? Does he know what's going on or not? It's the same question that you and I face. I don't know if you watch the news or listen to the news or read the news or whatever form you ingest the news. You're doing that this week. There was a research that came out from the Pew Research Center about spirituality in America. So interesting, interesting uh, statistics about our culture. Did you know that in America, 92% of Americans believe in God? 92%. That's 9.2 people out of 10. Most people believe in God in America. 58% say that they pray every day. 58% of people say they pray at least once a day. 58%. Still pretty statistic. 58% of people say they pray at least once a day. But this is where the, where, where the, the facts get interesting. The research gets interesting to me. Do you believe there are clear and absolute standards for right and wrong? 
Do you believe?